Hey guys, welcome to another Heavy House tutorial. Today we're going to be making a uniform scale node. So let's get started. Uh, I have down here a material already created. I'm just going to drag and put that on this uh, little dragon here. Uh, so normally if you wanted to scale this texture up, I'm going to go in here. You can see this is a pretty uh, simple build here. Uh, just have it piped into the principal, no changes, uh, a tileable texture, and piped into a color ramp, and I'm just inverting the color and uh, clipping it a lot. So normally if you wanted to uh, change the scale on this, you would need to add a mapping node, and then add a texture coordinate, and use whichever one you want to use. Uh, so we'll just go with object. Uh, this also has a UV map, so uh, we could do that. But um, so you'd come in here, and you know you can type in, say we want it to be a little smaller. Let's go 0.5, and then we have to go 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Well, okay, that's if that's maybe not where you want it. You you know you have to go back through and type in your numbers again and this gets a little um, tedious. So we are going to create something so we don't have to do that. So let's go ahead and delete out this mapping node. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to separate all the val values. So we're going to type in separate XYZ. We can use uh, any of these texture coordinates for this. So let's put in, uh, let's just do the UV again. Okay, then I'm going to do a, um, well, eventually it'll be combined back and then added. So let's go ahead and hook those up. And now we are going to add in a math node, change it from add to multiply, take the X, go into value one, and then the outport, uh, plug into X. Actually, sorry, I take that back. We're not gonna go multiply, it's gonna be divide. Um, that way, whenever you drag up on this bottom value, this the scale increases. When you drag lower, it decreases. Okay, so let's just, uh, that one doesn't matter at this moment. Uh, we're gonna duplicate this, just the divide. Can hook that into the X, I mean the Z. Duplicate it again and hook it into the Y. Okay, so now these still are individually controlled, but we're gonna come over and add a value node and just pipe that in. Okay, so with this value node, now if I, since it's driving what the X, Y, and Z are being multiplied by, you can, you know, uh, well that's too low. Um, let's go down to like, you know, 0.2. That's our texture being scaled down to 0.2. We can drag this value up, and now we're scaling this texture up, rather large in this case. <laughs> um, okay, so that's pretty much the setup. Let's go ahead and make a group node out of it, just so that it's easy to access anytime that you need it. So select all of these, right click, go down to group selected. So right now this is broken, that's fine. We're gonna zoom in. Let's click the uh, plus button and uh, right click up top and let's rename this to uniform scale. You can also right click, change the node color if you want to something that, you know, maybe all your custom ones have a certain color, but. Okay, so we know that this is, uh, this vector on the combine XY is going to be our output. So go ahead and just pipe that in. And then we need to create uh, a value input and then a 
uh, vector input. So if you just grab this and put it into the input, you get this over here, which has the X, Y, and Z visible. I don't really like that. And so a little trick that I learned from Martin from Insidium is if you just pull it from another uh, texture, say a noise texture, it just has a uh, vector input. If you pipe that in, it'll just give you that single line. So now once you disconnect that and delete it, you can uh, keep your groups, uh, these inputs a little bit cleaner. Okay, so for the, we wanna be able to drive this from outside of our node, so we need to replace this value here. I think this one is going to be a, I'll just do a gamma uh, because it has an input that maxes out at 10. And so I drag that over, it now says gamma. Well, we'll right click that and rename the port to scale. Okay. So we can get rid of this value node now and just drag these over and your node is set up. So let's go ahead and plug it in, see if it's working. Okay, come over here to the scale, drag it down, and you can see we now have a uniform scale. So that's pretty much it. Uh, if you wanna use this for later, right click on the node group you made, go to save group, navigate to where you want to save it and then uh, save it. I just have a folder on my Dropbox that is always updated with any new uh, cycles materials that I create. To access those, you can actually access them in your nodes. You can point to that folder directly. Uh, it doesn't do that by default. You need to go to Edit, Preferences, come down to where it says Renderer, click on cycles 4d and under this groups folder just navigate to where you have all those stored and then after you restart you will see all of your uh, materials or your saved node groups inside of here so that's how you make the uniform scale uh, if you guys would like you can also download uh, on my gumroad uh, another version of this and uh, if you want to you know, donate a few dollars, that's fine, but it's gonna be up there for free. Uh, in the version I've made, uh, you can actually get, I have inputs in here so that you can control the aspect ratio. So you see that. So say your thing was in 16 by nine, uh, you're gonna put 16, nine, and then uh, for the Z, in this case, it doesn't matter because it's a 2D texture, um, but if you, you didn't want that, you would need to uh, match that to your X if you wanted it to still look uniform and you're just changing the Y. Anyway, that works for like, if you had this as a, say we had a noise texture on here. And we viewed, let's just view it like this with maybe a color ramp. Okay, let's crush these values so you can see them. Maybe not that much. Okay, so it might be a little difficult to see, but if I now scale this X, not on UV, that's a 2D, it needs to be object, there we go. So now this should be scaling in the Z aspect. So you can see there, we now have this front to back kind of um, ring thing, which is kind of cool. So look, free shader right there. Um, same with your Y and same with your X. So just go through and type in, uh, either, you know, your standard's gonna be one by one by one, and that's just gonna give you a uh, completely uniform scaling. But yeah, feel free to change that up and that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if there's any other topics you would like me to cover. I have a couple of them that I'm uh, kind of 
working on and trying to get cleaned up a little bit to present to you guys. But uh, yeah, let me know what you'd be interested in and I'll try to keep making these. Okay, thanks guys. See ya.